Hello everyone, TNG here with a brand new custom map called The Haunted Palace by Saber Dan on the Minecraft forums. I'm using the default custom texture pack because it is the most elite texture pack ever made because it's just so powerfully awesome. What? I don't know. Anyway, please read the rules before continuing. Rules, play easy, medium or hard. I'm on hard as per usual with the servers that I run. Turn render distance to normal. I prefer far, to be honest. Play on survival, don't break blocks, watch or place them of course. Watch out for hidden chests and easter eggs, you can place items though, so I'm assuming that means torches. Recommended number of players, 2 to 4. Well, shit. Oh well. Um, let's just sleep through the night. And of course I had to teleport myself to this spawn location because I am on the multiplayer. Um, I wonder if there's a secret behind here perhaps, noob. Well, it didn't say you couldn't break items, did it? <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's just take the story. And, yeah, well, it didn't say you couldn't break items, so I'm going to take a few of these with me. <laughs> there we go. Just in case uh, I need to put down some torches. Anyway, you received an invitation to a ball being held at the Crystal Palace, according to the Apple Maps. Apple Maps? What? The palace should be nearby. Okay. <laughs> Apple Maps. Or is that supposed to be the alternate to Google or something, is it? Um, okay, this place looks quite nice, doesn't it? Ah, a jungle biome. Nice. Alright, so this is the Crystal Palace. Um, seemingly very close to where you live, apparently. Um, welcome to the Crystal Palace. Oh, it's made of, uh, quartz. Nice, nice. Been making a lot of stuff for quartz lately, I have. Okay, welcome to the Haunted... Ah, ah, so you're trapped immediately, I was just gonna say. Well, gee, wouldn't you think it was a, a bit of a trap if you read this sign? Could you just run away? I guess not. Um, so you can take a full set of leather, it looks like, and a sharpness 5. Awesome, so you won't run out of durability on that. So you definitely only need the one. Um, I'll leave some cookies just in case I need to come back at a later point. Leave the storybook there because I won't necessarily need it either. Okay, so we've got a smashing board. Parkour. In order to move, you have to find two keys. LOL Observatory. Okay. Um, yeah, that was not exactly an observatory, but anyway. I wonder if that one was designed to spawn with armor or not. Interesting. Uh, I don't actually have my uh, gamma bright installed. Oh, son of a bitch. I don't have my gamma bright installed, so that's a bit of a shame. Shit. Poison. Another. T ah, damn it. Am I. Uh, surely I'm not going to die from poison. I am on hard mode, though. I don't know how witches work on hard mode. I should probably not proceed up the staircases because there's probably going to be more mobs up there, isn't there? It looks like there's only one thing per... Uh, you're really gonna die? Can you actually die in hard mode? No, you can't go below half a heart. So I'm just gonna have to wait until the poison wears out until my HP regens a bit. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I certainly can't see myself fighting even just a regular zombie um, with one heart, to be honest. So I think we'll wait for that. Trust me not to go with the parkour first, but oh well. I wonder if um, keep items is turned on. I hope keep items is turned on. I really do. Uh, we'll wait until I get to about five hearts. I think five will be good enough to actually head up the stairs further. Just to make sure that I am uh, sufficiently healed up enough. I mean, there's probably no more mobs at all. But we'll say four and a half. That should be good enough. So, is there anything further up here? I don't see any trip wires. So... Perhaps. Okay, so this actually activates the next set of enemies. Um, well, let's get up to uh, seven hearts then, real quick. Okay, let's give this a crack. So we've got um, magma slimes that are actually dying in the wall. That's wonderful. I like this. This is good. Uh, so apparently they can't spawn any more than just the one these, these look like. So it looks like I've got a bit of a bottleneck here, which I can deal with quite easily. Very good. I like to see this death of magma slimes. There should be one to the left or the right, shouldn't there? Looks like some of them spawned outside, which is interesting. Um, so we've got magma cream. I, I know you can use those in potions, I just don't know which which potions. Um, <laughs> the LOL Observatory, nice. Any hidden chests? Um, well, shit, I just lost my enchantment, didn't I? Well, shit. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, I'll take the... No, don't need the painting. Well, golden apples, that's nice. Damn, I'm gonna have to actually go and get another bloody... Um... What do you call it? Another sign. That's a shame. I hope no more enemies spawn on the way back. I couldn't possibly see that happening, though. 
because uh, the dispensers look like they were empty. At least the witch one was. Hopefully, they all remain empty. I'm doing it so far. So, it's just a regular wooden door. That's not too bad, then. Um, so, let's actually... You know what? I should really store all this stuff away. Um... Because we're talking about parkour now, which is more than likely where I'm going to die. Including my armor. I don't really need that just yet. So we'll put that away. And then, um, because it looks like what you do is you actually basically just come back here when you're done. So, we'll do the parkour where I could potentially die. And come back and get my stuff. Okay, um, suppose I go this way. And then, like so. Oh, that's typical. So that looks like a pretty straightforward stage one. I just I really hate the parkour where you bump your head. It's one of the most annoying uh, types of parkour. Because it can be like, it's so sensitive that it's just ridiculous. Um, uh, I try, you try to jump at the very edge of the, those damn head jump block things, but even still. Uh, if I have too much trouble, of course, I'm just going to be cheating like a little son of a bitch that I am. So, that is natural with me. I do have two letters that I could potentially use if I need to. <laughs> um, it looks like I only need one, actually. Let's just try and run off here. Yeah, it looks like you just had to run off. Whereas this, I don't know too much. There we go. Made it past that first section. So that looks like the key over there. Okay, that's not too hard. Um, suppose I have to go back over here then. Okay. Might have needed to have brung some food with me actually. Okay, made that. Okay, made that too. And how do I actually get to that there? Oh, it looks like you have to loop around. Fair enough. That is obviously a mob spawner. Probably a dungeon of some sort. Uh, if it comes down to it, I'm just gonna, you know, cheat myself some food in if I run out of energy. I mean, I should have brought something with me, but I figured that uh, it'd be parkour that has lava, and apparently it's not, which is always a good thing. Strength and healing, was it? Yeah. I guess, um, I guess there was, yeah, relatively easy parkour, not too bad. Not too afraid of it. Uh, so I'm just gonna make my way back now, I guess. And we've passed the first set of challenges, nice. Um... I was thinking I have to grab myself a new sign, but I'm just going to use that chest at the start, pretty much just my storage chest for points and whatnot. Um, healing potions, I don't know, maybe I could use them? Maybe? We'll see. Um, let's just grab a set of my armor back, and of course the keys, as they were. Um, don't necessarily need the torches, but I will need a weapon to fight with. And strength. Probably just take one of each, um, just to be on the safe side. And we'll take a few cookies here to eat up. Actually, no, I'm probably going to need um, all 16. How much is that going to heal me by? Yeah, see, not much. But I don't want to take too many with me. So we'll, we'll split the stack there. Um, I probably don't need the torches. I haven't seen any dark rooms yet, as it were. So it should be good. Uh, let's keep that splash potion there and that strength potion there. Okay, there we go. Put these levers down. Here, open the first door. Any little tricks and traps? Nope. Open the second door. Which path is the right one? Okay. Uh, so we've got a few different paths. Path three. Okay. So I wonder if you actually have to take all three of these again, or if it's actually just a maze begin. Okay. Um, knock down the painting. Ah, oh, with an arrow? Sure. Seems legit. Shouldn't have too much trouble with this, I wouldn't think. Uh, not quite. Ah, oh, perfect. Wonderful. Um, only problem is that could possibly despawn, so probably shouldn't have done it first. Uh, parkour with lava. Son of a... Ah, this is gonna suck, I can just tell. Let's, um... I won't need my weapon. That's a... That's a... Uh, definite. Same with my arm, I won't necessarily need that. Uh, if it comes down to it, I'm just going to have to head up there and, and throw something on those pressure plates if that item despawns, which is a very high possibility. Because I can see myself taking forever with parkour. Ain't that just a usual thing with, uh, with me? Okay. And made that one pretty straightforward. These are some pretty, uh, huge... Damn it! Bloody splint gritch. How annoying. Uh, let's try again. Let's try again. Tried a few times, of course. 
with my lovely sounding keyboard. Everyone enjoys hearing mechanical keyboard just munch away on the keys. Probably not the best of choice to pick up, but hey, I like I like the keyboard. I like the keyboard. Um, all right, let's try this one more time. Should be able to get it this time, surely. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go again. And there we go again. Right, so it looks like we're going to this one. What? Ah, damn it. Um, I'll give it one more crack at getting to that second long jump block. Oops. That doesn't obviously count, because I didn't actually make it to the second long jump block. And then I'll cheat like a little pansy. That's the first. I'll make it to here one more time. Okay, now I haven't made it yet. And then after that, I'll proceed to cheat like a scumbag. Nah, I probably won't. I managed the first parkour pretty easy. It's the sort of, um, it's the parkour that I hate, especially when they don't have, like, save the inventory, which I'm not sure if they do in this map or not. Am I really gonna die? Alright, I don't think it will kill you like the poison didn't kill you. <sighs> yep. The poison did- Hey, I'm free! I, I escaped. I escaped the uh, death trap. I escaped. I win. I am the winner. <laughs> Guess not. Um, all right, I'll give the I'll give the maze a crack this time. I'll give the maze a crack to just to break things up. And then if I try finish the maze, see that's probably despawn by now. That's the unfortunate thing. But what I can do is I can probably throw down one of those torches that was there. What we'll do is we'll stick to the left wall. Um, there's probably going to be a hidden chest in here somewhere that I'm going to miss, but. It's with these particular mazes, not with necessarily other mazes. It's just best to stick to one wall, honestly. It looks like this one's not one of those tricky ones that has the uh, islands, as it were, in the middle. So you you never touch the wall, if that makes any sense to anybody. I'm sure you've all done mazes before. Um, yes, yeah, so it, look, it looks like this one's uh, very straightforward. You can't actually miss the exit if you just keep following the wall. But that's the type of maze that I like, honestly. Um, is, is recording at least with mazes that uh, require you to remember things can be quite tedious because you'll end up getting lost over and over. There we go. Um, the maze was the wrong path though. Typical. It's probably the parkour that you have to take. So what was with the um? Thank you for the meat. Um, really? I'll just follow the left wall again. I'm sure I'll be able to get out easy enough. Um. So it looks like parkour is the right way to go, but the unfortunate thing is, if I finish the parkour, I'm probably not going to have any items with me. Um, when I died, I had nothing on me, so I don't necessarily know if keep items is turned on. So what I might have to do is I might have to grab something like one of these cooked chickens or something and die and see if I actually keep items on me. What is this? Now oh, dead end. Wow. Okay. Uh, it's a dead end, apparently. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll throw all this away. Fire resistance, that's not too shabby. But it also doesn't really help at the same time. Let's just take a single arrow with us, and then what we'll do is we'll die and see if we actually keep our inventory. If we do, obviously, I'll just stack my uh, inventory up. So I so keep inventory is definitely turned on then. Righto. So we're going to try and finish the parkour just with a full inventory of MacGuffins. Um... I'm glad to know that keep inventory is on. I really like keep inventory. So I can take all of the cookies, you know, all of the signs. Fuck. Oh, good. Good, good. You can get them back. I, I hate... I mean, I love the signs because you... Um, what do you call it? I'm trying to think here. You don't, you, you don't lose durability on them. I don't need to take all of that. It'll just fill up my inventory like crazy. I don't really need the storybook either. Um, I want to try and keep my inventory clean. Um... I wasn't trying to say, yeah, yeah, I, I love the signs, but I also hate them. Infinite durability, wonderful, but if you throw them on a wall, they're completely useless all of a sudden. Um, I'll take a bow with this as well. Maybe two. Um, uh, take all the arrows, because why not? Uh, sign again. There we go. Cool. Um, wonderful. Now, I don't necessarily... Yeah, they're probably... What I'm thinking is I might take all the bows anyway, because if I progress and... Um, let me actually go through here to see if that 
paintings despawned. Yeah, see, it's despawned. Uh, I'll throw a rotten flesh on there because I get the. F huh? That's interesting. What? I. What? That's weird. So you're actually supposed to jump through here after you've hit the painting onto a pressure plate, but I guess my painting must have missed the pressure plate? That's weird. Um, I guess, yeah, a little bit of a bug. Uh, yeah, the wrong way, of course. Yeah, of course. Feel free to keep the uh, bows and arrows. So I'm breaking. Well, um, I guess I'm glad I explored. Yeah, okay. Huh, bit of a shame. Um, I don't need all of these... these Helmets, though. Oh, I'm sure I can just throw them away when I finish the parkour. If I finish the parkour. I don't have any blocks, do I? Uh, thankfully, since I'm on a... Hang on, let me actually check the bottom of these out real quick. There's nothing down here, is there? No. Thankfully, since I'm on a server, if I do end up, like, you know, taking far too long on a certain area, like parkour, I can just, you know, cheat my way through it. I don't want to, obviously, but I don't want to spend 10 years on... Something that I'm just absolutely terrible at. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and post a comment below to tell me how I can improve. And feel free to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Perhaps I'm being a bit of a scumbag. <laughs> Fuck it. I got given the potion, so why not?